Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Chats. My name is Lindsay Giese, and I'm the Executive Director for River Arts, Inc. And I am joined today by the, let's just say the Matt Brennan. <laughs> welcome, Matt. Why do you say that? Cheers, Lindsay. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I couldn't think of a, the appropriate adjective to describe. Yeah, just the Matt, Matt Brennan. Well, I have a lot of things to ask today, so I'm going to jump right in. But the first thing that we like to talk about is just to get a little background about my little interviewees. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, I am the high school vocal music teacher here at Sauk Prairie High School, and I came upon that job um, after a long journey of time spent here in Sauk Prairie. I grew up here with my four brothers and my parents, um, John and Mary, and um, lived the Sauk Prairie culture um, for my entire young life. Uh, after that, I graduated and went to Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa to study music performance and music education. And came home a broke college kid and uh, fell into a job here in our Sauk Prairie School District. And I've been here for the last nine years now, which is crazy to think about that it's been that long, almost 10. That's crazy. Yeah. That was a very good summary. So thank you for that. that all right. Any other questions? Any clarifying? That was, that was it. Um, so we're done yeah. for the day. Good. <laughs> Nailed it. No, so you started at the middle school and I'm uh, teaching choir there and now you're the, the director of choirs at the high school. What would you say are the biggest differences between teaching those different age groups? Um, <laughs> middle school just brought uh, an entirely different energy than I had experienced. I student taught with elementary and high school uh, and middle school presented all sorts of new emotions and new energy, uh, which navigating, I actually had a lot of fun doing. Um, that two year period uh, was a blast to work with, with that age group. High schoolers bring lots of ability and lots of, lots of energy, um, but middle school, it was a little bit more chaotic and that was, that was exciting. All right, okay. Likes the chaos, okay. Yeah. What is your favorite show choir show you've directed so far? Ooh. Uh, and you can't be PC about it and say this year because it's this year, like. I can't. Well, well, what if this year truly was? I won't would, believe you. It would, you wouldn't believe me then? Uh, I think the most meaningful, um, that's a weird way of describing it. Uh, when we worked on Big Fish as a show choir show, uh, that season was unique for us. Um, it, was, it was an incredible group of students that got to work on that show, but also uh, the story that we were trying to tell about just appreciating um, time with our loved ones while we have it and um, remembering lessons learned from them after they're gone and I think that that season is gonna just hold a special place in my heart for the rest of my life and career just because I think we achieved something unique that year with a story. What would you say is your favorite show choir show that Karen and Sue directed over the years? Not necessarily that you were in, just ever. Yeah. Um, Jennifer Goldsvig, the I, choir director at the middle school, and I would agree that it's the 1994 Big River. Yeah, no, that's, I think, if, if you look at their overall, um, encyclopedia of shows that was by far the most successful season that they ever had and it was for good reason the choreography by 
uh, Tom Tarion was outstanding and they sang it really well and it was just high energy from start to finish. Uh, I though um, have always loved Jesus Christ Superstar when they did that show um, in 1997 with uh, Dan Seeley. Um, that's when I first started to know about music at the high school and watching that guy just crush it on stage. I, I mean, I I'm, sort of, love. I'm sort of hoping that my sister, Jessica Giese, is not watching this because she was the lead in that show. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and she was great, too. Um, just glossed right over that. Yeah, I've always enjoyed tenors more than sopranos. Hmm. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ Superstar that year hooked me. Things are obviously a little bit different right now. How, I guess, what has been the biggest challenge with teaching choir virtually? Like, I think it makes sense to teach certain subjects virtually, but choir seems like it's pretty difficult. Yeah, it's, it has been a challenge for me individually as a teacher. I love interacting with students. I, I think I thrive when I am in front of students and can can see their faces and hear their voices. Um, I've struggled virtually educating in choir. One of the things that we're really pushing for right now is just understanding larger concepts in music, um, taking a step back from necessarily the singing or the instrumental playing uh, and moving towards a more broad understanding of music and the theory involved and the history involved uh, by providing them as many opportunities to uh, experience those things as possible. So that's, that's, it's, it's tough, but it's hard for everybody. This is not uh, ideal in any, in any subject. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You, besides being a great teacher, also perform now and then. Um, I'm not gonna, you, you are in the Water Street Jacks. I'm not gonna really label that as performing. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, I am in the Water Street Jacks. Water Street Jacks in general, your, your part in the Water Street Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are great. Just kidding. Yeah, I get it. But you have done, well, you've done a lot of shows, but more recently a lot of work with Sauk Prairie Theater Guild. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering, who's your favorite co-star in the Sauk Prairie Theater Guild shows? <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's been one consistent co-star in all of my Theater Guild shows. She, um, she's been there in, in, all of the <laughs> all of the shows, yeah, uh, and that is the Lindsay Gizzy. Oh my god! I thought you were totally gonna switch it up, and I thought about it. Although the last show that we did was just the two of us, so you have right. That was a, that was the real challenge there. I almost went with Sam Hess, but because um, I think he's done. Did he do Putnam? I don't remember. I think he did. I don't didn't we're, we're too old to go back that far. Yeah, that was way back. What is what is your favorite role that you've ever played? You know, college, high school, recently. That I've ever played. Ever. Uh, in college, I got to be a villain for the first time in a show. Uh, in the show *You're in Town*, I got to be um, Cladwell, the villain, the mayor of the town or maybe he was just the rich the rich guy uh but that so that was fun that was a new experience for me um the most like lasting inspired part that i got to do was probably um william barfay in putnam county spelling bee he comes back in, in my interactions quite a bit actually well it's i mean it's just such a natural yeah yeah, I, I really believe that I was born for that. Mm -hmm. You've been doing a lot of method acting, too. Really. You are that character. Yeah, yeah. 
Am I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. What's your dream role? Oh, uh, the first musical that I ever saw as a kid uh, was Les Miserables. And Jean Valjean is... This is blowing my mind because... <laughs> I have asked this question of Ted Harder, principal of the Sauk Prairie Middle School. Sam Bass. Jean Valjean. All of you, all three listed Jean Valjean as your dream role. Well, that's because he's got like an entire musical to himself. I feel like we um, should do that show now and have all three of you play that part. Like a different, yeah. different part, like different time periods. Different period. important scenes. Yeah. yeah. Who is the other, who is the third guy? My brother wants to play Jean Valjean. <laughs> Um, no, I feel like he would be more like Tenardier or something, but, <laughs> yeah. uh, it was me, Ted, and Sam Ness. Sam Ness. Well, I hope that we all three get to audition at some point. <laughs> you think you can take him on? I don't know. Uh, Sam is strong. Ted is older. <laughs> so, there are these... Yeah. Oh, ooh, we're going to do a new segment. I haven't done this with any of my other guests yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of photos. And I want you just to say the first thing that comes to mind when you see them, okay? Yeah. First thing that comes to mind. Okay, I'm ready. Oh! Um, sound of music. Just the show that it was. I was hoping for more of that. I was hoping for more. In case you can't tell, although I think we look exactly the same. Yeah. I minus the the red bandana on my sleeve. Mm, yeah, that, that bandana. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have the little whatever this I just is. As, I have just as much hair that was just creatively combed. Ah, maybe you should try that out. <laughs> I'll bring, I'll bring it back. Oh, matching. Wow. Do those we, costumes? Yeah, we, those still exist mm -hmm. in, in my closet now, but um, oh, good. it's a Friday night thing. I like the shoes that you're wearing. Yeah, those are called jazz shoes. Mm -hmm. My legs, you can't see it in that picture, but they look great in tights. It's picture enough. doesn't do it justice. Ooh, out of breath. <laughs> I am winded just looking at that picture. Um, are you wearing a necklace? Yeah, that I think is uh, some hemp and some shells there. So this was from our high school years when we did Godspell. Yep. For you that viewers that didn't see the show. Uh, I think you can still watch it on the YouTube. You can. There was, that's Michael Davidson. There was one competition where he fell ill and I was asked to step up and be Jesus for the show. And I remember, I still have a, a complex about this. Um, my fellow men of the show choir at the end have to pick me up and lift me up above their heads. And listening to them complain about how heavy I was compared to Michael was, uh, it was a rough day. Good friends. Good yeah. Friends. Ooh, champion. Um, I don't that's, know who the that's other That's the person lovely was. Emily Udelhoven there. I don't remember her, but mm -hmm. I, that, uh, that was a successful day for me. Um, I was crowned the best dancer in the land. And you brought your trophy to Woodshed. I did. I did. As and Lindsay had no trophy to speak of, therefore, um, mm. champion mm -hmm. Emily had no trophy. Mm -hmm. No, that was a fun night. Whoa! <laughs> hey. Oh, that's the same necklace, maybe. No, I think this was my eighth grade picture. Hmm. Yeah, I was found this little gem somewhere. Man. Mm -hmm. Look at that hair. It's dangerous. I appreciate the matching, like the you match the red with the button up. Yeah, 
No, I know. Yes. <laughs> it was, yes, aw, brothers. Tell us who everybody is here. All right. Um, very top on the left is my brother, Jim. He uh, was like a 01 graduate at South Prairie High School. Down in front of him, the big, the big one, the oldest is John. Uh, you know him as our local coffee roaster uh, for John Joseph Coffee. Um, Evie looks so, his daughter, like I guess I didn't realize how much she looked like him. Yeah, no, isn't that the truth? Uh, all the way in the back in the center is my brother, Mike. He is, uh, works at UW Hospital as an RN and charge nurse. And um, thank you, Mike, for everything you're doing right now and all the healthcare workers. Uh, down in front, the cute little one is Jeff. Um, Jeffrey lives down in Orlando, Florida. Um, probably the funniest and definitely the best beard of any of us. Uh, and that's me over there on the on the right side. Oh, I took for youth soccer. Yeah, that was back in the Hardy's League days. Oh, nice. Yeah, there we are again. Yeah. This time it is in age order from left to right, mm -hmm. um, with John, Jim, Mike, Matt, and then Jeff. And now you see what I mean by the best beard of the bunch of us. Mm -hmm. Your your parents must just be so proud. Yeah, this was our, I think this was a Mother's Day a few, a few years ago. Aww. Yeah. All right, I think I've got one more here. Yeah, that is my beautiful wife uh, and I. Um, just this last week on Saturday, I got married. I uh, even have a ring. Um, it's real. It's real. <laughs> That's what you do. Um, that is Elizabeth, um, and now Elizabeth Brennan, formerly Elizabeth Halverson. She is gorgeous. I don't know why um, I got so lucky, but um, so yeah, that just happened. That's brand new breaking news here on Coffee Chat. So excited to share it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And she's wonderful. She's she is kind and excited. She just got a brand new matching. Sock Prairie Music sweatshirts. Mine says Mr. B and hers says Mrs. B. Um, Cute. She's excited to wear it. Cute. Yep. All the best to you both. Yeah. Right. Those pictures. You found some good ones. Would you go like diving through Facebook? Uh, yeah. No, I like those are my screensaver photos. Mm. So. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, but really, I did want to, I wanted to end the, the little photo montage with that wedding photo because most people um i don't know they're kind of just like staying in during the quarantine and stuff and you're like hey what what better time to get married <laughs> <laughs> well we didn't schedule it like post court this was the original date um and at a certain point we just thought we want to we want to start that life together and dates and the guests like we obviously missed our friends and family um, our immediate family was able to be there that could um, and that was just a, a beautiful gift of them but uh, we're gonna celebrate as soon as we can as soon as things clear up yeah no and I joke you guys really made the most of it and it was beautiful and um, anyone who does follow you on Facebook saw that you also had joint bachelor bachelorette parties in quarantine just the two of you um, yes. Because she can't hold it. She can't hang with me. Um, that was learned. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we went to uh, the social media and to see if they had any questions for you. And I do have a few questions from the public. All right. The first question comes from Hike Pedal Bike, and it is, as I recall. You worked as a waiter at Lake Wisconsin Country Club. Did they ever realize how talented you are and let you sing there? No. Uh, <laughs> most, of, most of my time at the Country Club was actually in the back washing dishes. Um, Jared Kirk and I um, built quite the career um, there. I never got to sing out in the dining room, though, but 
you can believe that duets were were heard from the dishwashing area between Jared and I. Did they have anybody sing there ever? And what do you mean? Did the country club have singers? I don't do country clubs have singers. I don't know. I just thought the question was interesting. I wondered if other people were letting other people sing it. Not. I, I guess now, I do, now that you say it, maybe they did. Maybe I was stuck in the back while people's people's dreams were happening outside in the dining hall. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I never got to though. Okay. Uh, my other question comes from John Joseph Coffee. Okay. How does it feel to be interviewed five weeks after your brother? Follow up, it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know who that could be from. Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, probably my dad or my brother. I guess that's the only people that work there. Um, it, did, it did sting a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, he 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 kind of nailed his interview, so. I know he did. Since he started his coffee business, I think he's been featured in the paper more than I have. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely making a larger impact uh, on the community as a whole. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really proud of what they're doing over there. I, it's the only coffee I drink. Uh, it's so good and it's yes, free. Yeah. And <laughs> kidding. No, I pay for it. <laughs> Most of it. Of course, of course. Um, yeah. but they also, I, I see that they're giving coffee away left and right these days um, to help during this time. Yeah. Like uh, healthcare he's, workers. And he's doing everything that he can to just keep people moving and fueled. Um, he's doing deliveries, I think, three or four times a week. Uh, just awesome. It's awesome to have that right here in Soft Prairie, our, our own coffee roaster. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that's all I have for you today. Is there anything you wanted to share that we didn't talk about? No. I don't think so. I think that no. was it. I went through it all. Yeah. I... There, there were some other sketchy photos on Facebook that... Were there? That I could have shared. Um, <laughs> I had lots of questions about them. <laughs> That'll be for the, another day. Where? I don't believe you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Thank you all for watching our coffee and chat today with Matt Brennan. Stay tuned for next week. We've got another awesome guest coming your way. Cheers, Matt. Cheers, Lindsay. Thank you.